and start kind of making self improvements and doing cleansing around him. His friend uh, Devonte Pack is the name I believe his name is is the one who was recording him why he had the gun in the last incident on IG Live. He was also a former AAU teammate of uh, John Morant's, and in addition to that, uh, he was the one that got banned from the FedEx Forum. Um, he was the one that got banned from the FedEx Forum where the, where the Memphis, Arena, Memphis Grizzly play at for something he did. He got banned for the laser or whatever. I don't know. Whatever he did, he got banned for. And, um, you know, uh, but let's talk about it. Check out the big talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Now, Adam Silver said they found additional information by, you know, investigating John Morant some more. So, um, they could have just kept investigating John Moran some more through the whole process after the process. And he said he was sorry and was sincere and stuff. Um, you know, we talked about kind of how Corey Hoker revealed there was an incident where his mom got into it with a, a guy that foot locker finish line or something like that. And he called and she called them up there to come get him. I mean, why would you put your son in that type of harm's way? It's one the it's one re, you could send the goons up there, but ain't no point to do all that. But like I said before, everybody you think on your team ain't on your team. Um, Cause anybody that's for you, girl, if you don't make this time, oh, yeah, women cannot drive. Bro. I'ma say that every video I get into, get into, get a woman that's hearing my way on the road who can't drive. But uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, so they didn't found some more stuff on them. I'm not surprised, bro. Um, then you had the strippers talking about they want they you know they want an apology like. Boy, these are the most uppity hoes I ever seen in my life. They want apologies. They want to be go from the pole to being treated like a million dollar queen, and then you treat them like a million dollar queen. You put them first, and then they want to go back to the streets, and they find nothing in the streets. They want to get back with you, and bro, when did when did you know, strippers and hoes and sex sex workers get so much dignity, man? When they start to have a morale, uh, uh, when they start having integrity. And being people with morale, with morales and shit like that, man. When did this happen? Now strippers want apologies, bro. You in a strip club? Anything can happen outside. Y'all go home with strangers, bro. If they spend enough money with you, y'all be in there in the back room having sex with no condom on with certain dudes. So y'all want apologies and respect? Like, oh my god, that's crazy to me, bro. That's super duper crazy. But so they investigated some more. This is on fault. Them your your people don't don't put you on camera in general. I told y'all I don't hang around with people that's always recording and then they want to post if you bust your ass in the snow or you bust your ass on the porch and the ring doorbell and they want to post that for likes and shit. Man, anybody that take your misery and try to monetize it or try to do it or try to give uh, get clout off of it, I don't do that. But then again, John knew he was on camera and he flashed a gun. And a lot of people say, you know, they targeting John and they feel bad for John. I don't feel bad for that nigga, dude. You want to be something that you ain't got to be. That ain't you, bro. I'm trying to be something that you ain't got to be. And you mad because you, you know how sensitive uh, they, they are about this generation, bro. Even though they censor all this stuff, and these kids is exposed to much, much more. But, you know, it's a start. I'm following them, getting them out your crew. You can't take everybody with you. You know, y'all want to go around thugging instead of just, you know, you got guys around you, y'all smoking and drinking by the pool. You know, ain't nobody, you know, who you got a career like that, you about to sign a contract. Who out here smoking and drinking in, in, in the off-season, bro? I can see some weed. You out here drinking alcohol, drunk on IG Live, all that other shit. Bro, hey, man, them, them people around you who enable you to do that or who support you doing that, bro, they ain't your friends. You supposed to be living a clean lifestyle. Or somewhat of a clean lifestyle, not being recording it. Y'all supposed to be enjoying it, getting women, enjoying it, raising your child and stuff. So, 
You know, people say, oh, he might be gone for 40 games. He might be gone longer than that. And I, and I would agree with that. Remember Chris Carter said the best thing, you know, buddy, uh, that's my idea for him was Buddy Ryan cutting his ass. And him having to restart his career over with, and he got serious. He got real, real. He got his life together. Y'all need to get his life together. This is this is almost as bad as Miles Bridges. A couple days, a day before free agents, you about to sign a record deal contract, you get in trouble with your woman. Jock can sign a record deal con record contract, he get in trouble. You know, and then miss the all NBA team. But you got to get it, man. You know, at some point, he kept bumping his head. He got rid of old buddy. Um, he couldn't go. He couldn't go. And the rest of them dudes around him, they can't go. If they can't, get a, if they can't go back to school or get a role that help you out and actually do the role, just not a figurehead, not just no fake-ass manager, they can't go out there and be your manager and manage, and manage your career, help manage your career, or they can't get a role. This girl, whole white dress hanging out the door. She don't even see it. <laughs> She's gonna be mad as hell. But uh and they can't get a roll or whatever, they gotta go. You know, you ain't gotta people feel like you gotta roll with 30, 40 motherfuckers for what? When you young, you figure that out. Like y'all going to the club 30, 40, 40 deep, but if your car break down or you need something, ain't none of them niggas to be found. And then be the main niggas needing 10, 20 dollars to get in the club. Be the same niggas that you get around the hoes, and they be, you know, dry hating and dry and, 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 and hating on your ass, man. Like I said before, real talk. You know, but everybody drop the hammer on them as they should. He need that reality check. Cause now he didn't turn him and his crew didn't turn themselves into targets. So you know you already rich, so you already a lick right there. People gonna look to hit a lick on your ass, and they know you got sticks. And y'all carrying sticks and shit, so they definitely gonna be more more prone to shoot first. They definitely gonna be more prone to do that. So he don't understand, dude. That's why people like conceal. You know, states that let you conceal the weapon. That's the biggest drop you got. People not knowing the, the gun is on you. Not flashing it and all that. All it takes is for you to make a mistake and it's off safety and you shooting the car, you in trouble. And you in trouble, but some people feel like he ain't did nothing wrong. But you in a different era, bro. Real different era. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Appreciate your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Uh, financially, want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, TikTok, and much more. Hit the link tree. Find me everywhere. Check out the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. Peace.